So your child comes to you and says that they have a a new friend, and you don't think anything about it. It could just be an imaginary friend that they've been talking to. There's nothing wrong with this. It's it's relatively normal, but they have a name for it. They have a whole backstory for this imaginary friend and you are like well where did that come from maybe my child is just super creative you don't realize that the imaginary friend is a tiktoker or a youtuber right who has um did dissociative identity disorder you don't realize this until it, it's far too late. I, I'm posing the question here. Like what. This parasocial relationship series. I'm not going to, to lie guys. It has been. Difficult. To get through. Because I keep finding. More stuff. I'm I'm known about this one for a little while. I've talked about it a little bit in the past. Sid, Sydney Watson did a video on this, um, where she does a breakdown, and we'll watch some of that in this video here. But I want you to see what your kids are watching on TikTok. Um, th that is the primary thing. I want you to see what they're looking at, what they what they are learning from. If you leave them with this digital babysitter. All right, so here we go. We're going to start with uh, this one. This one is from, I'll, I'll have a link in the description who it's from. Um, hey, I'm Faye, I'm 17, and I'm part of the Blue Bell system. On my days, right. Um, hi, my name's Che. I'm 26. I'm 26 now, boys. I'm the primary protector of the Blue Bell system. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name's Alaska, I'm 22 years old and I am the emotional protector of the Blue Bell system. Nice to meet you. My name's Scarlett, I'm 16 and I'm a trauma holder in the Blue Bell system. Yo, my name's Indy, I'm 19, I'm the host of the Blue Bell system and I'm really, really tired today. <laughs> Oh my god, um, right, my name's River, um, I'm 27 and I'm the secondary protector of the Blue Bell system. My name's River, nice to meet you. Hey, it's Cole again. Um, I've also seen the question floating around a lot, what is a switch? So a switch takes place when two altars basically trade places with consciousness. So right now, I'm fronting as Cole. If my primary protector Landon was to front, we would have to switch. Basically, switching who is in control of the body, who's fronting. And yes, there are definitely signs that I'm going to be switching soon. Not always. However, the majority of the time, I'll start to feel very dissociated. My thoughts will get really fuzzy. It actually feels like my thoughts are being pulled from my head. Now, I'll start to hear my voice and other sounds like through a tunnel, kind of like echoing. Sometimes I get really nauseous and sweaty and anxious. However, fighting a switch, which means not letting it happen naturally, can typically cause a lot more anxiety and headache. If you watch them, they all do the same thing. I'm mentally stable. I have dinner at a normal hour, like six o'clock. Oh, oh, I have dinner at six o'clock. Yeah, um, it has to be at six o'clock though, like exactly at six o'clock um, or else bad things will happen. You have dinner? I have dinner. Might be some issues later, but I have dinner. I would have dinner right now, but somebody ate too big of a snack earlier, so now I'm not hungry. Dinner? <laughs> it's more like breakfast for me. Because I woke up 10 minutes ago. I forgot about dinner. I forgot about dinner! Oh.
other adults that fall for this shit. It's kids. I'm mentally stable. I do my homework in a timely manner. <laughs> I didn't do my homework. No, I didn't do the homework in a timely manner. I did a month's worth of homework in one afternoon. <laughs> That's just how I roll. But there wasn't any homework. Was there homework? Was there homework? I didn't, I didn't do any homework. Okay, no. No, there wasn't. Don't scare me like that. Jeez. Oh, shoot. Did somebody do the homework? Alex? Cindy. Cindy? The little did the homework? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, And there's a unicorn drawn on this. Okay. Uh, Yeah, this will be fine. Oh, the teacher's collecting it right now. Okay. Um, And, yep, yeah, that should be good. Yep. Yep, I forgot about the homework. I forgot about the homework. Mm -hmm. I'm mentally stable. I drive my car like a normal person. Just, no. Oh, what the fuck was that? Fuck you. Are my windshield wipers too fast? No, it's not the same as that guy. Oh, but they don't even have them at all. Maybe I'm overreacting. No, like, I need to see. But they're going, wait, and maybe just, like, dial down one? Where? Where are we going? Dentist. I have a dentist appointment today. Oh, shit. I'm a goop goober! Rock! Oh, shit, I missed my turn. I'm mentally stable. I do the laundry every Tuesday. I do the laundry. Oh shit. Laundry's done. I wonder who did that. You guys do laundry? Did I do the laundry? What? This one is probably the only one that I think- Oh is. shit, my laundry! So these are your personalities, right? If you had DID, you would understand why this shit is hurtful. Also, you're not emo, so fuck off. We don't want you. Being a male alter in a system with a non-binary host is a lot of fun. Let me tell you why. One, see this piercing? This is new. They decided to do this last night in lieu of sleeping. And yes, they did it themselves. Two, see these nails? They did these too. Now, they look wonderful, not my favorite. Biggest thing is, we have work in four hours and I can't get them off. So my lip is in pain, my hands aren't working, and I'm just gonna have to deal with it for a while. I currently am attempting to speak normally in 5x speed. Probably However, I have absolutely no idea what to expect from this. I'm still putting my best you know, foot so forward. The kid gets diagnosed with it that way after self-diagnosing from watching these idiots do their shit. So keep your kids off TikTok, guys. For real. Kids form parasocial relationships easier than anybody else do, does. Hi, and they look at these idiots here and they're like, oh, I got a friend. Wait. Pomegranate tastes, oh, tastes more like beets. Granite.
tape there, there they go. That whole bullshit right there. But I think you guys get the idea with that one. So here's the Sydney Watson video. Send you the occasional non-annoying email to keep you up to date with what I'm doing and merch drops and all that fun stuff. Anyway, I am sorry, but I am back. And as I promised, I will make something of value rather than just you know, screaming emotionally into the void, which is more or less what I want to do because on an emotional level, I feel like a bag of wet twigs. Anyway, now personally, I don't spend a tremendous amount of time on TikTok because, you know, besides the young children dancing, there's also the spying on you, the data mishandling, the putting your information in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. Besides the unnecessary amount of pointing, it's also a space for softcore porn, bad lip syncs, and children generally behaving badly. Which should come as a shock to nobody, given that TikTok is predominantly used by teenagers and young children. That should fill you with confidence while you watch videos of 16 year olds dancing and young men with paintbrush hair, lip syncing to looking puss uh, cats, licking cats. For not a single second does anybody believe that's what you meant, which kind of makes all of this way creepier. But besides the plethora of very obvious issues with the app, I think it's also fair to say that in a lot of ways, it is a factory for mental illness. I mean, honestly, you can probably argue every other app is as well, like Instagram, that makes you think you're ugly, but you aren't. It's just better when you're behind a wall in the dark. And YouTube, that one is reasonably self-explanatory. But TikTok is a special kind of hell. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But before you once again board my gondola of disappointment, let's hear from our sponsor Blinkist. You're getting older, finding time to sit down and more philosophy you can cancel anytime. You'll also take a change, listen to a bitch other. The app is now so popular, there are people who dedicate a lot of their time to reacting to its content, like my co-host Elijah Schaefer, or the Twitter account Libs of TikTok. Running into these videos is unavoidable. They're short, sharp, and hyper-shareable, meaning that they're everywhere. From Instagram to proliferating on my Twitter feed. But most of us don't necessarily stop to think about the long-term consequences of creating digital playgrounds where children can be as shallow, as hypersexualized, and as narcissistic as they like. Most of us don't stop to think about how radical gender theory has made its way onto the platform. From a plethora of videos about being non-binary, transgender, gender fluid, or even the creation of new pronouns and genders themselves. And seeing this content is fairly common, you're only ever a few short clicks away from learning about tree and demon genders. Hi, my name's Jasper. I use they it pronouns. Hi, my name is Liana. I use they demon pronouns. This video is how to use our pronouns. <laughs> so Liana uses they them pronouns and demon pronouns. So the first sentence would be, Liana is my partner. They are cute and I am theirs. I love them very much and I hope they love themselves too. For the demon pronouns, it would be Liana is my partner, Deem is cute, and I belong to Deem. I love Demon very much, and I hope Deem loves Demon's self too. That that you um you had you 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 could you do you wit. This uh, video has copyrighted music, and I don't want to get a copyright claim on this video, so I'm just gonna add some in that I think is much better. Here you go, enjoy. <laughs> why when people ask me if I have hope for the future, I'm like... <laughs> Over the past six months, okay. we have been investigating as well as exposing the truth behind all of these food processing- I am doll. I am one of our object alters. When I front, I find it very difficult to remember things that the body requires, such as how to move, how to blink, how to breathe, and how to speak. 
I'd like to go home, please. But when we aren't having 13-year-olds explain to us the complexity of gender fluidity, there is an observable phenomenon emerging of young people adopting mental illnesses. What I mean here is that in addition to all these other things, what a lot of us aren't considering is how we're basically giving our children the ability to view, glorify, and absorb mental illnesses they don't actually have. Something that should worry any parent in an era where depression and anxiety run rampant. This is uh, basically a pretty common video that I found looking at TikTok from people in this age group. Um, this has obviously got copyrighted music on it, so I took it out. But you get the sense, you know, these people are always singing along to sad songs and they always look really sad. And this girl's talking about going to the dentist, which I don't know, I mean, I went to the dentist the other week and it really wasn't that bad. I mean, they even tried to like Novocaine my mouth up and stick needles in my mouth. So I don't know, like, girl, just eat your soup. Soup is good. I mean. I don't know what to say about this. I, I just copyrighted stuff sucks. I am this close to finding a bridge or tall building and seeing if I can fly. If I can, cool. If I can't, even better. Yeah, so that last one uh, definitely concerns me and that makes me really sad for that young person, but I love the captions on these other ones that are like, my parents will never really understand what's going on and here's how my day is going. I went to the dentist. Now, considering all the things I've seen from TikTok, I personally have spent a lot of time making fun of it, but never stopped to think about the mental health consequences that come about as a result of it. Then I happened upon this article. It reports that doctors are seeing a rise in tick-like behaviors among predominantly teenage girls. They say that this may be connected to TikTok. This particular article goes on to explain that pediatric hospitals have reported an increase in teenage girls coming in after developing tics, sudden twitches or noises that are a common symptom of Tourette's syndrome during the pandemic. The sudden rise is unusual, with tics typically occurring in boys, not girls. Experts in the US, Canada, the UK, and Australia studied the patients for months and consulted between hospitals, finding that the common factor between the girls was an interest in watching TikTok videos from influencers who said that they have Tourette's syndrome. The article goes on to add that researchers from pediatric hospitals published a study in August, suggesting that since March 2020, referrals in the US, Canada, the UK, Germany and Australia went from 1 to 2% to 20 to 35%. I'd like to note here just really quickly that I'm not saying that all of these girls are pretending to have tics. I'm sure some are. I'm sure that's the reason behind them doing it. But some of these might be entirely legitimate, given that tics can in fact be triggered from watching other people tick. I just, I just wanna make that clear. I've gotta be honest, when I started writing this video, I wasn't expecting to find an article about how young girls are developing tics from watching TikTok videos, but what did I even really expect? So yeah, uh, that's part of Sydney's video, and go watch it, guys. It's it's a great video, honestly, and I am polluting my YouTube channel right now to show you this, to show you all these this mental illness TikTok bullshit that's going on and has been going on. Now, this is nothing new. It has been going on for, um, for a little while here. And, like, remember that children develop parasocial relationships a lot easier than anybody else does. Keep that in mind when they're watching TikTok, when they're watching stuff, when they're doing anything. Keep it in mind because kids develop these. Kids get imaginary friends, right? What happens when that imaginary friend is a psychotic 30-year-old on TikTok? Think about it. 